an expert on this. Professor Chambi Puranik is a political analyst and also a former professor of political science. Uh, professor, can you put this into perspective? Are there any other options or what has been happening starting all the way back in 1952 when the, the seats were about 494, 1963 after the reorganization of states it was up to 522, 1973 because of the population surge 543 and 2002 onwards it's left unchanged. The fact of the matter is that perhaps the indices will have to change we will have to take into consideration other aspects too can we really make this entire exercise only about population growth and it's quite unfair 18 percent if you really look at 18 percent of population of the southern states is contributing to about 35 percent of the gdp if yeah. that's the case it would be extremely unfair yeah on the face of it i uh, I mean, I'm, I'm happy to participate in your debate, Shavan, and uh, also my salutations to all of our pan uh, panelists. But I know Article 81, 82 have clearly mentioned about the basis of population for the electoral uh, districts or constituencies to be carved. And that has been there, uh, you know, from 1971 till now. And even 2023, I don't think BJP government will uh, venture into uh, making gestures because uh, before 2026 this has to be done but my my only apprehension is that uh, how are you going to compensate for this kind of inequal uh, representation and also the kind of progress that southern states have uh, done as compared to the central india or northern states etc there is a kind of uh, i mean uh, i mean disproportionate representation so the very concept of uh, Representation, if it is based on PR system of the population, I think that needs to be re it also. That's why in another panel, when I was discussing this, I was mentioning, is there a way of compensating this in any other form? Because at 81 and uh, Article 82, both of them speak only on the basis of on population. I think there is need to uh, re-look at both Article 81 and 82 because, uh, I mean, eminent advocates are also there. It is possible. After all, you know, when you are going to amend the constitution, lock, stock, barrel, and in concern or whatever the kind of uh, the agenda the ruling party has got, I don't think this will come in the way. Second thing is, southern states, as you put the statistics, when our contribution is so much in terms of GDP and our representation all put together, it is almost equal to UP in the parliament i think you know on the face of it it looks very unjust and unfair it is not that we are scared of uh, this domination because the entire country is one and we are a federal system but the true spirit of federalism is not there in india even today you see is it uh, except uh, mr hd devagoda is it ever possible for a south indian to become prime minister you know we may become president or you know some other kind of position that's all but beyond that is there a possibility of entire South getting representation on the basis of number of seats that it wins in the election? So that means we will never be able to do it also. When this glaring kind of uh, you know, denial of an opportunity is there, I'm sure it has to be looked into it. And BJP spokespersons saying that, you know, there is no need for concern or worry and all that. We ought to worry because I, we are not party people. You are me. We are here as observers. Definitely, we would like to see that this kind of whatever injustice or the inequal representation which is done in the statutes itself is addressed properly. So for that, there is a need for a special committee consisting of judges, political representatives and public men of eminence. All of them put together, they should give their suggestions. I think that has to be done. Along with, you also go ahead with uh, census operation also because 2024 election, definitely you have an advantage. That is BJP, the present ruling. But we don't know how the political fortunes okay. change also, as it happened in Karnataka. Pura... Please tell me. So as I understand, please. Professor Puradik, there is certainly a way out. There is certainly a way out. It depends whether at all we are going to have any actionable uh, steps towards ensuring that the southern states are not really left out. And this divide. Let's be very honest, at some level, yes, that divide actually exists and that is the reason why some of the leaders are making that comment. Dr. Suman Siravan, if I can also bring you in, as a neutral observer to this entire aspect, now it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue which un unfortunately isn't being discussed in the manner it should be. In the spirit of uh, our country for the 
betterment for the development of our country we ought to bring take everyone together if this kind of a representation takes place and in fact for someone who comes from the northeastern states my state throws up only two looks of our seats so the, our representation is, is even worse than perhaps what what we are really looking at uh, the southern states but yes it is this is a major concern